Well, that does it. I'm simply out of ideas. I mean, I already made a top nine classes video. You can't really sink much lower than that. But hey, you know what? Since I'm already a hack and a fraud, let's capitalize that. We gotta sink even lower. I mean, they say you can only go so low that you scrape the bottom of the barrel. And trust me, baby, we're scraping, but we're gonna scrape even harder. That's right. We're gonna scrape so low that we're gonna hit the limestone underneath. It's time for a weapon concepts video. Yeah, here we go. First up on the chopping block is Spy. And I've got some ideas for Medic and Heavy that you're sure to love. You know, originally I thought I would just condense all of my weapon ideas into one video, just like one long video, but then I realized, why would I do that when I can make multiple videos and exploit the algorithm that way? Why would I do that? Well, why are you in my house? That is not a rhetorical question. The bank is coming for our home and you need to pay up! I think I have some pretty banger, reddit-shattering ideas for Gabe's favorite class. In fact, they're so good that I predict that a world-renowned spy main, who is much more popular than I am, will fall out of the sky any minute and will have an awkward back and forth between you two personalities. <laughs> hey, right on time! Everyone welcome today's special guest, General Alias! Please let my family go. Wow, General Alias, you sure do suck at making opening appearances. Yeah, I'm kind of known for sucking. Hey, hey, enough about how you spend your Saturdays. I've got all these great ideas, and you are going to sit here and listen to them. First one is this. Welcome to Team Fortress 2. My favorite class is the Spy. We know this year, that was the worst. We don't know the back step, what? Looking right at him! Oh shit. Hi, Luca Palooza. Full disclosure, Spy is a class that I don't really have a lot of respect for, but rather pity. I mean, come on, it's been 16 years. Everyone knows that Spy disguises as your teammates, and everyone knows to check for spies. He's not fast enough to catch up with the really mobile classes, but he's also far too weak to defend himself, you know, should he get caught off guard. And this isn't like a band-aid fix. You can't just buff his health to 150 without also addressing how the kunai works. So that is an issue that I believe uh, will just never be worked on. Spy is basically the weakest class in the whole game, but unlike Sniper, he has to work even harder to get that instant kill, you know, for the most part. Sure, backstab detection can be a little wonky, but you still gotta have at least a 5th grade reading level to actually be good at Spy. This weapon was conceived with the intent to fill the gap between Spy and his target, and encourage a faster, more loose playstyle. Introducing the, the Skulking, Skulking Shuriken. Shuriken! It's a throwable knife for Spy that has a clip size of 3. You can throw them from a distance, they recharge like Mad Milk or Jurati, and they're affected by damage fall off. At the best range, they do 150 damage on a successful backstab, which is still enough to one-shot light classes, but not enough to one-shot medium to heavy classes. Upon a successful backstab, you gain a short speed boost, similar to being hit with a disciplinary action. This way, you can escape an unfavorable situation and live to plot another day should you not secure a kill. And yeah, it's also made with giving the other classes a chance to fight back. Nobody likes being surprised with an instant death, but if you're walking to the point and suddenly 150 health is gone, you know that a spy is after you, and you at least get the chance to retaliate. I chose 150 because that's the same damage as a sniper quickscope, which is something that people are already familiar with. And for those of you that might complain about it one-shotting light classes, you are already going to be killed in one hit from a regular knife anyway, so what's the harm? Basically, Spy is too slow and can't close the distance against speedier classes. This is an attempt to put the speed in your hands and make Spy generally more mobile. Now I know what you must be thinking. If I want to be more mobile as the spy, why don't I just use the big earner? 
yeah, well, uh, this doesn't decrease your max health when you equip it, so you won't die as soon as you get a kill. But hey, enough about me. General, what do you have to say? I believe a weapon like this can promote an aggressive and defensive style of playing spy. A weapon like this sounds like you could be a combo spy from shooting your gun, then switching to your shuriken, which honestly, a new style of playing spy sounds pretty great. So, did you like that idea? <laughs> yeah, probably not. But hey, here's another item for Spy that you're sure to tolerate. This is a little gun I like to call the White Flag. The biggest problem with Spy in the modern age is that after 16 years, everyone with a brain knows to check for spies. Disguises, well, they don't really often fool players anymore. M maybe to Joe Normie who just installed the game five minutes ago, but to everyone else that's played for more than five minutes? Well, we know how to spot the spook. If only there was something Spy could do that would make his disguise more convincing! Well, did you know that if you reload while you're disguised, it mimics the reload animation of the current class you're disguised as? That's pretty cool, but why would you be reloading when you're disguised? Unless you purposefully shoot a bullet, then found some way to disguise, and then went out of your way to use your weapon that you just used so that when you're in front of other enemy players, they would see you reload? Why? That's like Ring Around the Rosie mind games. Why would you do that? Why? The whole mechanic is pointless. If only there was some way to actually shoot your gun without losing your disguise and make it look like the person you're dressed up as is shooting too. Well, that's where the white flag comes into play. This little baby does no damage while disguised, like the rocket or base jumper, and can be shot as many times as you want without losing your disguise. For the stealth connoisseur, this will help keep tension low and backstabs high. Here are the stats I came up with. When undisguised, it has a 25% damage penalty and a 10% firing speed penalty. And these downsides are admittedly just kinda tacked on, as the primary focus of this weapon is to be tricking your enemies not to be dealing damage. Think of it like the stock revolver, but a little bit weaker. And much like the stock, it's basically a last resort tool anyway. This idea is amazing. Spy is all about fooling your targets, and a weapon where we can have more of a reason to use the disguise kit would change the spy a lot. However, I would most likely not use it for damage, but rather just use the knife. Now, here's a little something for all you engineer haters out there! If you've played Spy for more than an hour, then you know it's really hard to kill engineers and take out their nest. If they're playing by themselves, well, maybe you've got a shot. But God forbid their team gives a shit about them, or they've got an over-anxious, PTSD-ridden pyro looking after them like a mother hen. I mean, look at this shit! <laughs> Sometimes, it's just impossible. You work so hard to get near their buildings, and with one swing of their wrench, they kill you, they remove the sapper, and it's just all over. 20 second respawn time, come back later. But what if... <laughs> what if the engineers were punished for removing your sapper? Well, that's where this handy dandy piece of spy tech comes into play. Introducing the creatively named Time Bomb! This gizmo is essentially a ticking time bomb waiting to happen. It has a minus 50% sapper rate akin to the red tape recorder, but when it does its job, it goes out with a BOOM! Upon a successful sap, the sapper will explode, dealing damage to everything around it. Think of the same damage as a rocket or a sticky bomb, and if an engineer destroys it, he's ignited for a brief time. So now, engineers will be ever more cautious. Do I break and risk being set on fire, or do I let it do its job and blow my hard work to smithereens? It's a lose-lose situation for that cow herder, and a win-win for France! Sure, if he has a pyro nearby, or at the very least a dispenser, he might make it out okay. But hey, if all goes according to plan, you're practically gift-wrapped to kill. This is a great idea, let me explain why. There is a penalty no matter what. If you use this, imagine you're on the other end of a teleporter and spam the sapper. You're not only breaking the teleporter, but also killing the engineer if he tries to take it off. This item would have no counterplay if used properly by a spy. But if you kill the engineer and then use the sapper, you could get some funny kills if people are on a dispenser. Well, 
Those are my ideas. And while I'm happy to pitch them to you, my delightful mouth-breathing audience, I'm much more delighted to actually pitch them to uh, a player who would, you know, have to actually uh, play with them one day and, and, and deal with them. So, uh, everyone, please give a big round of applause to today's guest on the show, General Alias! Woo! Thank you, Waylon, for the views, and check me out in the description. Everyone, make sure to show your support and subscribe to General Alias. But more importantly, subscribe to me instead! <laughs> now get out of my video! And after you subscribe, leave a comment too. Whether you like the video or not, I genuinely want to hear what you guys have to say about my ideas. I have a lot more ideas. These are the ones that I've really fleshed out the most for this video. So if you want to hear some, like I said earlier, I have some great ideas for Medic and Heavy, and I've even got some for Sniper. But if you do want to hear those ideas, then please just leave a comment, tell me what you thought, because I really do want to know. Oh, and before the video is really done, I want to give a huge shout out to your local Blondie for drawing all of my weapon ideas. Uh, they also drew my new logo. Very happy with that. Uh, obviously, huge shout out to General Alias. Thanks for being on the show. I know you. I know you got way more important things to do. So thanks for being here. Uh, big shout out to uh, Defunk and Scout, otherwise known as Mr. B, otherwise known as Ardo Meister, for drawing my new scrolling background that you see right now. Oh, and of course, can't forget the patrons like that guy. Always happy to see you on my videos, buddy. Be sure to comment nice down below like you always do. I always look forward to that. Oh, and of course, can't forget about the big man himself, Javi and Sniper, uh, for doing all of the SFM animations that you saw in this video that they painstakingly recreated from watching me myself act it out. So give love to everyone I gave a shout out to, and I will see you in the next video. I'll see you guys then.